Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen. Today I'm going to show you how I did this Betty Boop nail art on my sister. I have gone ahead and already placed on her nails the Universal Tips by Knot Polish. I did file them down to the shape she wanted. She wanted coffin on all of them except for the pinky. She wanted a stiletto nail on her pinky, so I went ahead and did that. Even though I am going to use a nude on most of the nails, I did go ahead and lay a clear base on her natural nail as well. The first color that I am laying here is Nude Panther by Knot Polish. It's an absolutely beautiful pinky nude and I really think it goes very well with a lot of different skin tones. So it's, it's a very good nude to have in your collection. And for anybody wondering, I have not mentioned the winner to my uh, giveaway that I did in my last video yet. That will actually be on my next video. If you are unsure of what I'm talking about, go ahead, watch my last video and find out how to enter these amazing not polished products, which I will put up here in a picture for you guys so you can see what is up for the giveaway. Be sure you enter and I will be announcing that in the next video. For those of you who like to watch the application, I'm going to go ahead and show you the application of that beautiful Nude Panther on both the middle finger and the pointer finger. And I will pop up my discount code with Not Polish up here on the screen. It is Kristen8. I guess I can help myself. Would you So I do want to apologize. I tried a new camera angle this time and I could not keep my big fat head out of the way. I have no clue what I was thinking or whatever, but somehow I kept ending up in the screenshot just a little bit, my hair, my eyebrow, whatever. And my hair kept getting caught in the camera also. So then I was stuck there. It, it was quite the comedy act, but I didn't think that it would have my head so much, but I do fix it for the art portions. But unfortunately, a little bit here and there, you're gonna see my big old noggin popping in and out of the shot. <laughs> Quiero ser tu amor, tu amor, tu y yo. Contigo yo me siento en control. Quiero ser tu amor, tu amor, tu y yo. Besándonos a la puesta del sol. Me conoces súper, súper bien. Tú me viste y te subiste al tren. Contigo 
We're gonna go ahead and do a full glitter nail on the pinky and this beautiful red glitter I'm gonna be using is by Not Polish as well and it is called Blazin. It is a colored acrylic with glitter in it. It's kind of like a red jelly, which is super pretty, but it's not super opaque and between all the glitter in there. So I didn't feel the need to lay the red base. I do this a lot um, with this glitter because it just has such good coverage. I don't really need to do two steps and make it even thicker. I really, really, really like how it came out, how opaque and there was no translucency i couldn't see through anything it didn't look sparse or anything at all it had great coverage i did go ahead and cap all the nails and then filed and buffed them off camera now i'm going to go ahead and just put a nice thin coat of matte it on all of the nails that i'm going to be doing artwork on if you watched my other videos before you know i like to do this just to smooth out any scuffs that still may be in my acrylic so for my nail art, I am going to be using the gel liners from Not Polish. I used the red, the black, and the white, and I just went ahead and just put a dot of each color on my palette, and I just worked from my palette. The brush that I'm using right now to do my French is the Hella Cute Liner Brush from Nails by Dev. I absolutely love it. And then the other brush that I'm going to be using when doing my nail art for all the detail and the smaller stuff is the nine millimeter brush from Nails by Dev. So I really want my red to show up against that black. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and paint my flames in white first, give it a full 60 second cure, and then I will go in and cover it all in the red. All of the fingers are exactly the same except for the two middle fingers. Her left hand has Betty Boop because she is left-handed. And then her right hand is a pair of lips in the center of a black nail. And for the black, I am using Madame Glam's Perfect Black. Also, I would like to let you know for anybody looking for a really good coverage black, this is one coat. All I did was one coat of it. It is so opaque and covers so well. So that is pretty much what I stick with when I am doing a full black nail. Once again, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the lips in white so that the red really pops. I'll go ahead, give it a full 60 second cure, and then come back in and paint over it in red. After I've cured my red, I'm gonna go ahead and use some white. One, just to tie in the white, and two, just to give it some depth dimension. I'm gonna go ahead and use the white to add a little highlight to the lower lip and the arches of the upper lip. <laughs> Estás loco llamando. 
So I have very lightly sketched out where I want things on Betty in pencil on my sister's nail and I didn't do any real definition or anything. I was just getting basically my measurements down so I knew I wasn't going to run out of space when it came to part of her body. So the color that I am using is Coconut by Bio Seaweed for her skin tone and I'm just going to go ahead and draw out her whole body wherever I was going to have her body and I will layer over with the other colors where I need them to be. So now I'm going to go in with the black and I am just pretty much trying to do a thin little outline of where I want things and at some point here, it's in a little bit, I am going to lose video. There was a little bit of footage that is lost. My camera battery died and my SD card was full at the same time. So we went ahead, put in a new SD card, got my battery recharged and we were rolling again. So there are some characteristics that are very specific to Betty. She has the part in the middle of her head. She has the curls in her hair. She has her big green eyes and of course her tiny little waistline. So I wanted to make sure that I got all of those in. Right here I am just doing her hair and basically I started with getting the shape of it around her head first and then I got that cured and then I went back in and placed the curls. I did do like her eyebrows and her eyes and everything first just so I knew where they were going to be so that my curls weren't in the way for me to do them. And her nose I will take off about three times. <laughs> I did not like it and then I was trying to find its area and then I did it at the end and I was happy with it. The other thing on her are her tiny little lips which are so cute. I did have a little trouble keeping them small. I tried, I tried and I, as much as I love her I think her lips were a little bit big but I'm still super happy with her. She looked like she has a little bit of lip filler and I love it. As I said before, I believe I said it in the Powerpuff Girls video, I have never done characters or anything. These are all my first attempts. So I figured I'd share them with you, learn from my mistakes together, and of course document my own journey so that I can see how far I've progressed over the next couple years. Her eyes I did do in layers. First I used my dotting tool to go ahead and make the whites of her eyes. And then I came in with the teal also from the gel liner collection from Not Polish to do the color of her eyes. Then I cure that. I'll come back in with the black for the pupil. And then after that is cured I'll come back in at the end with a little white reflective dot in her pupil and that kind of pulls her eye all together for me. So the footage that I was missing was me doing the last two dots in her eyes and outlining them and then filling in her dress. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead in and outline everything, give her some eyelashes, finally do her nose, and touch up any areas that may need to be touched up. Now because of how I have painted her, there are lots of little thin layers and a little unevenness to her, but I'm not worried about that because once I top coat her, all of that will smooth out and she will be beautiful. So this little brush that I keep cleaning up all these tiny little areas with, is the baby blender brush from Nails by Dev. It blends, it shades, and it does amazing cleanup as you can see. On her thumb, we decided to go ahead with a couple of cute hearts some starbursts and some dots just to tie in all of the red and the black and then I will go ahead and top coat 
the hand painted nails in matted and then the other two encapsulated nails I'm going to go ahead and top coat in gloss it by not polish she wanted a combination of shiny and matte nails so that's what we went ahead and did for her and then that will conclude my video i do a go ahead and show me um giving her a little bit of cuticle oil just so that everything looks nice and good for all our final video and pictures which i will have up here for you so if i could please ask you to put a like Comment me some red Betty Boo parts or lips or anything down below. I really appreciate it. It helps my video out so much. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.